Hey guys, welcome to SourceFed. My name is Joe Beretta. Hi, I'm Elliot Morgan. These days, you can never be too careful what you post on the internet, whether it be a tweet about what you did the night before or even a Facebook rant about something that bothered you at work. That's exactly what happened to Harrelson County School bus driver Johnny Cook, who took to Facebook the premiere Let Me Gripe About What's Bothering Me site to unload some steam about an event that took place on the school bus earlier that day. On a bus full of middle school students, Cook's interaction with one student left him bothered. After finding out the student was turned away from the lunch line due to not having the 40 cents required for the school's reduced pay lunch program. Johnny took to Facebook to vent saying, I'm certain there was leftover food thrown away today. As a taxpayer, I would much rather feed a child than throw it away. I would rather feed a child than to give food stamps to a crackhead. The next time we can't feed a kid for 40 cents, please call me. We will scrape up the money. Okay, that makes sense. And it was due to this post that Johnny was let go for disparaging the school system on social media. Now, while Johnny was given the opportunity to recant his statement and take two weeks unpaid leave next year, that's a vacation, <laughs> he opted to stick with the termination as he stands by what he posted on his profile and doesn't find it to be disparaging to the school system for which he worked. Okay, so the issue of school lunch programs and whether or not this kid was able to fall through the cracks and go unfed aside, it is becoming commonplace for companies to limit what their employees are able to post on social media sites. And this is understandable as no company wants their employees taking to the web and bashing them willy-nilly. But as we see in this instance, who decides what is considered disparaging? Uh, answer the employer. That was rhetorical. Answer no, it wasn't. That was also rhetorical. These clauses are usually buried deep in employee handbooks as it was with the case with Johnny Cook, which are rarely read. I never read ours. I know. Which leads me to Section 4, Article 8 of the SourceFed Employee Handbook. Uh, no host may post disparaging messages on Twitter in and or of regards with or withholding emotionally explicit full, whether be in full consciousness, semi-conscious, or subconscious, in regards to the company therein or thereof the comment. <clears throat> what? <laughs> so let's just flip through your Facebook and Twitter profiles here for a second. That's personal. That's subjective. Oh, here's a picture of you with Philip DeFranco, and you don't look very happy. That's subjective. That's personal. And here's a comment you made that says, hanging with Phil. That sounds sarcastic. Oh, does it? That's two strikes. That's sarcastic. I assure you I'm very serious right now. Oh, and look, here's a picture of you in a car with a dog, and that dog is not wearing a seatbelt. That is three strikes. That's two. That's three strikes. All right, we're going to have to let you go, Elle. It's plain as day here in the employee handbook. So what do you guys think? Should social media be monitored Oops, by... I'm afraid only a sanctioned source fed host can pose a question to the viewers. So, what do you guys think? Should companies monitor social media? And if so, who decides what is disparaging or not? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to click the like button and this annotation for your five daily stories and everything else we've ever done. I'm Joe Beretta. And I'm on your way out. Let's not make this harder than it needs to be. Just go. Just leave. Edit this out. Yeah. God. Did you get this time? Yes, Steve. <laughs> yes, you did.